All right, Deanna, thanks a lot. Well, overdoses remain the leading cause of death for Americans under the age of 50. And here in Illinois, that number is on the rise. Tomorrow is International Overdose Awareness Day. It's a day for raising awareness about overdoses and reducing the stigma of drug related deaths. And here to talk more about that is Dr. Thomas Britton, president and CEO of the Gateway Foundation. It's the country's largest nonprofit treatment provider specializing in substance abuse disorder treatment. And joining him is Joe Patterson, one of Gateway's alumni. Thanks for joining us this morning, guys. So good to be here. Thanks really for appreciate having us. it. So, uh, Dr. Britton, can you give me a sense of what the state of overdoses in the state of Illinois is? Sure. You know, it is bigger now than it was in the past. Every year it has almost doubled up until last year. So it's starting to level out a little bit. But heroin, fentanyl, and methamphetamine is what's killing people right now. Have we seen any improvements? Not really. Um, and there's a new reversal drug, Narcan, that if I overdose, you could give to me, and it would reduce the fact that I might die. Hmm. But people are then using again and using again until it's lethal. Yeah, Narcan's been spread out through many communities, and um, but we're seeing the the deaths aren't going down. Now, now, Joe, you actually have you know dealt with addiction yourself. Um, is addiction something you grew up around? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? Um, yeah, when I was young, my childhood, um, uh, I, was, I grew up around addiction, my father and other people in the community. Yeah. Um, and that's what I latched on to as I grew up, too, is other people like that. So. And, Joe, when did you realize you had an addiction? Um, I, at a young age, I realized that it was probable, it was probable due to my family history and, uh, it, uh, I, I knew I had one for since I started pretty much. So what was the breaking point for you? When did, when did you realize I gotta do something about this? Uh, actually in 2007 when my son was born, I started to change my life. I you know, tried to get off drugs and alcohol to uh, improve my children's life as well as my own. And you have overdosed before, is, is that correct? Yes. What was that like? What, what, what was that experience like? Um, I, I did not recollect what, what happened. I mm -hmm. just remember waking up and people freaking out around me. Um, it really didn't make an impact on my life. Mm. I, I didn't think too much of it. Mm. So I just continued on. So how did you overcome this then? Um, I had gotten some legal trouble over the years and uh, I was on probation. I was actually, uh, I was forced to go to a treatment center or face with jail. So I did that. I called up the Gateway Foundation and uh, got myself in there. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I had a waking, awakening moment when I was there to uh, help me. Hmm. It's really awesome of you to be here and, and sharing your story. I'm just really wondering why you chose to do that, why you chose to be here and why you think it's important to, to, to share this story. Um, my life has been based off of drugs and alcohol. Um, every part of it, as far as I can remember back. And uh, it's caused great difficulty in my life. So uh, now that I've been able to get clean and sober, I, uh, I want to reach out. You know, it's something I know a lot about and I believe I could be helpful in. It's like a purpose for my life, you know? And uh, I don't want, you know, I've lost a lot of friends and family along the way to overdose and other related problems. I'd like to help and try and help younger people to prevent them from going through the life I had to go through and or end up dead, you know? Yeah, and Joe, I can tell you, I'm glad that you are still here with us. And uh, really quick, Dr. Br uh, Britton, um, what is the Gateway Foundation doing to fight overdoses? Sure. Well, the most important thing that can happen is really raise awareness and reduce stigma while providing access to care. So we are a treatment intervention opportunity for people to use medicine, psychiatry, and life support to change their lives and to save their lives. Well, I want to thank both of you for being here and discussing this important topic. Overdose Awareness Day is uh, tomorrow, and it's a, it's a very important uh, time to recognize this really important uh, crisis we're going through, uh, going through. For more information on the Gateway Foundation, you can find them online at gatewayfoundation.org.